Anyway, we'll film some of these these now here. But first thing I want you to do, and you need to listen quietly here for this one. Everyone hear that noise there? That's the dry ice vibrating. What happens is when I lay the dry ice on the table, if it's got enough uneven edges on it, it the gas, the dry ice, as it's a blind because dry ice goes through the sublimation process where it starts out as a solid and turns straight into a gas, it skips the liquid phase. That's called subliming. It ends up vibrating on the table there. And so then the uh, uh, gas is trying to escape as it goes from solid to gas. They're stuck there in these little pockets. They try to escape, and so then the, it vibrates, and you hear the funny noise of the dry ice on the table. And it doesn't always happen, but so I think this piece here is just too smooth. There we go. There we got one. And again, that noise is just the gas that's in there, and it's vibrating it, causing it to rock enough. Eventually, it rocks enough, vibrates enough, and sublimes enough on the bottom there that it ends up with a fairly smooth edge on the bottom. It's not perfectly smooth, certainly, but fairly smooth edge where the gas can all then escape freely. Mr. Sullivan, if you put one of those on like a hot plate, would it do that more? for a short while. It'd do it more and it'd do it faster, but then uh, after a while you're going to get to that smooth surface uh -huh. faster too. So you get probably a louder, a uh, lot more of it right at the beginning, and then it stopped faster. So, and again, it's, it's all about getting the right amount of evenness on there. Certainly, this is not a smooth block of dry ice. Uh, the bottom is pretty smooth, but even so, uh, there's still a lot of roughness there. Um, also, everyone was laughing just a moment ago because this piece here kept sliding around. Uh, we'll talk about that here.